Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday. My name is Miss Erickson, and I am with Juniata Elementary. And today we're going to talk about and practice with races. So I know this is something that you all have been doing in your classrooms. Get a little extra practice with it today. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Our practice for today is called Bicycle Rider. And we are going to follow the races format to answer this question. So just as a little um, reminder, refresher for everybody, the races format stands for the following things. R stands for restating our question. A stands for answering our question. And C stands for citing evidence that backs up the answer to our question. That's as far as we're going to get today. Um, so we're going to begin by using R to restate our question so that we can then answer and cite evidence to back up our answer. So our question, our question for today is, what is a character trait that describes Mr. Hay? And as you can see, I'm going to begin by crossing out some words here, a word that is not really necessary. We don't really need the word what to um, restate our question well. So I'm going to go ahead and cross that word out. And then I'm going to um, rearrange some of our words so that we can restate it in a way that helps us to answer the question later on. I'm going to begin by saying a character trait that describes Mr. Hay is. And you can see that I just took this whole little section here and completely copied it from the question. I said, a character trait that describes Mr. Hay. And then I took this is from the beginning and tacked it on to the end. And that way, when I'm ready to answer my question, I have a clear path to do so. So now we are gonna go back up to the top of our story, read through the entire thing, thinking about character traits that would describe Mr. Hay as we go. So Bicycle Rider by Mary Siosia. About a hundred years ago, a boy named Marshall Taylor got his first job in Mr. Hay's bicycle shop. There was a big bicycle race in Indianapolis each year. On the day of the big race, Mr. Hay asked Marshall to help him sell bicycles at the bicycle track. As this true story begins, Marshall is watching excitedly while more than a hundred bicycle racers gather near the starting line. Attention everyone, all those in front of the first one mile race lineup at the starting line, a loud voice called. First one mile race, asked Marshall, how many races will there be? There will be several one mile races before the main 10 mile race, said Mr. Hay. Marshall, you just gave me an idea. You should ride in one of the one mile races. I'll ask the judges if you can, said Mr. Hay. When Mr. Hay came back, he said, you can ride in the next one mile race. Pick any of the bikes we brought. At the starting line, Mr. Hay said, each time around the track is one lap. Five laps makes a mile. Don't worry if you forget how many laps you've gone. When you hear the bell ring, you will know it is the bell lap. That means one lap left to go for the mile. Marshall got on the bicycle and strapped his, strapped his feet onto the pedals. All the racers leaned over the handlebars. Their helpers held the bicycle steady. The starter raised his starting gun. Around and around the racers went. Now, there were seven people ahead of Marshall. Ding, 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 the bell rang. 
Marshall knew that there was one more lap to go for the mile. Marshall speeded up. One racer crossed the finish line. Two more. Another. Next was the boy in the red shirt. Right after him came the tall boy. Then Marshall crossed the line. Mr. Hay hurried over to help him stop. You came in number seven. That's great, said Mr. Hay. It wasn't very good, said Marshall. Six people beat me. You beat over 40 people. You, you've never been in a race before. You're good enough to try the 10-mile race. Oh, no, said Marshall. I could never win that. No, said Mr. Hay. You couldn't win, but I think you could finish. Try it, Marshall. If you get tired, just stop. Many racers will drop out before the 50 laps are done. During the last one-mile race, Mr. Hay spoke to the judges again. Good news, said Mr. Hay, joining Marshall. You can try the 10-mile race. When the 10-mile race was called, Marshall wheeled his bicycle over to the starting line. Don't try to go too fast at first, said Mr. Hay. Just keep up with the others, if you can. Marshall could feel his heart thumping hard. His hands felt slippery on the handlebars. His legs felt shaky. One, shouted the starter. Two, three, bang! The riders rode in a, cl in a close pack. The riders rode in a close pack. Two bicycles bumped and one fell. Marshall rode around the fallen bicycle and rider. Marshall pulled ahead of the pack. The boy in the red shirt passed him. Three more riders passed him. Then two more. Marshall could hear the crowd cheering. It was hard to know who was ahead because the riders kept going around and around the track. Marshall's mouth tasted dusty. I want to drop out, he thought. I can't make the halfway mark. Someone shouted, hooray for Marshall Taylor. It made Marshall feel stronger. Maybe I can finish a few more laps, he thought. His bicycle went faster and faster around the track. His wet shirt stuck to his back and his back hurt from being bent over. His legs hurt too. The people in the crowd stamped their feet and cheered. Marshall heard Mr. Hay standing at the edge of the track. Marshall heard Mr. Hay standing at the edge of the track shout, last lap coming up. Marshall heard Mr. Mr. Hay, Marshall heard Mr. Hay standing at the edge of the track shout, last lap coming up next. Marshall pushed as hard as he could. The wheel seemed to say, got to finish, got to finish. Marshall speeded over the finish line. His bicycle was going so fast he couldn't stop. He went around another lap to slow down. Marshall heard the crowd shout something that sounded like, Marshall Taylor, Marshall Taylor. Houts flew into the air. Mr. Hay hurried over to Marshall. He hugged him. You won, Marshall. You won the race. Who, me? asked Marshall. The judges held up their hands to quiet the crowd. Then one shouted, Marshall Taylor is the winner. Marshall Taylor became the fastest bicycle rider in the world. He was the first black American to ride in bicycle races that had both black and white racers. From 1896 to 1910, Marshall Taylor raced in the United States and in many other countries. He held both American and world racing titles. Marshall Taylor was loved by his fans for his riding skills, his fairness, and his good sportsmanship. So now I'm going to go back to my question and I'm going to try to answer it. So the question is, what is a character trait that describes Mr. Hay? So I'm going to share my screen. And I came up with a list of character traits that I think um, could possibly be used to describe Mr. Hay. So there's a lot of words here but I think I'm going to go with the word helpful listed right here. I am going to go back to my question and I'm going to place that character trait into my sentence to help answer my question. So now this is the second part of races. This is the A answering the question. I'm going to begin my next sentence by saying, in the passage,
it says, comma, because this tells my reader that I'm going to go back into the passage and look for information and direct words that I can take from the passage to back up the answer to my question. So I'm now going to look through my passage and see if I can find some direct words, maybe a phrase or even a sentence that shows where Mr. Hay is helpful. And then I will use that sentence or phrase to back up the answer to my question. I don't really see anything on the first page, so I'm going to go ahead and flip to my next page. Aha, I found a sentence now that I believe could help me give evidence to my answer. The sentence here says, Mr. Hay hurried over to help him stop. Right there in the sentence, it uses the word help. That is a clue to me that this sentence could show that Mr. Hay is being helpful. I'm going to go ahead and use this sentence as evidence to back up my answer. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my question. I have in the passage, it says, Mr. Hay hurried over to help him stop. I'm going to put a period and I'm going to close with quotation marks. Now, I am going to go back and check my work because I want to make sure that what I have written is exactly how it's written in the passage. So I'm going to go ahead and look back on my, I can now see by checking my work that the sentence is copied exactly as it is in the passage. So now that I have my three sentences, I have my R, I have my A. Okay, so now that I have my three sentences, I have my R, I have my A, and I have my C. I just now need to wrap it all up, help it come to a stopping point that I could then move on to the E, which is explain, and the S, which is summarize. So I'm going to add a sentence that says something like, this example shows that Mr. Hay is a helpful person. Because remember, when we are talking about character traits, we are talking about, we are talking about a word that describes a person's personality, not just how they're feeling, but who they are as a person. So, the difference between that would be feeling happy and being a happy person. Just like you could be in a helpful mood, but Mr. Hay is a helpful person. It's a word describing his personality. So this sentence helps us to wrap up our races practice for today. I hope this was helpful. And I hope I'm going to stop sharing my screen. I hope that you all have a wonderful Thursday. Bye.